So in this class, we'll do this one, exercise 6.3 introduction. There will be no test for this, okay? So here, let us start here under the introduction here. We're going to discuss some theorems. So let us do the first one. First one is called AAA similarity. This chapter will deal with the criteria for similarity of triangles. So AAA similarity, this theorem is saying, if in two triangles, if in two triangles, corresponding angles are equal, corresponding angles are equal, then the two triangles are similar. This is called the AAA similarity criteria or condition. What does this mean? Let us see here. Draw this with me. Let's say, let us say this is um, a triangle. One and then the next triangle. Like this we have. So this is 90. 90. Example only I'm saying A, B, C, P, Q, R. Then here 30. Here 30. Then this is here 60. 60. Like that. Example. So draw it. So what this is saying is if in these two triangles A, B, C, and P, Q, R, angle A equal to, see here, P because both of them 90 degree angle B equal to angle Q because both of them 60 degree angle C equal to angle R because both of them 30 see of all the three angles are equal then surely the triangle first one will be similar to the second triangle PQR that's what it means now see here at this point let me tell you something very important this is the correct way of writing. Just write the next one also. Or you can also go like this here. A and P are equal angles, so they should be the same place first. B and Q are equal 60 degrees, so second letter, second letter. That is called corresponding. We must make sure that we write the correct order of the letters when you're writing similar triangles, okay? What it means is this. You can also write like this. B, A, C. So you go from here, B, 60 to 90. To 30. So here also 60 to 90 to 30 you must go. Then you must not write PQR, you must write QPR. This is also correct. You can write like that. B A C 60.90.30.60.90.30.60.90.30. That's correct. But suppose you write here this one A B C and then you write here Q P R. This will be wrong because you see here you're going from A B C means 90. 60 30 90 60 30 but here you're going q means 60 90 30 the order is wrong so a is 90 so first letter here also should be p so the order is very important the correct place of the alphabets corresponding points written in the correct places is very important in similar triangles because if you don't do that you will get it wrong after that okay so keep that in mind Next, double A similarity, number two, write down. So what are in two triangles? Okay, so next one is, if two angles of a triangle, of one triangle. Okay, so write it down, it's number two. So what does this mean is, write down, A, A, that's triple A we've done, now double A. This is also true, so write down. If two angles of one triangle, two angles of one triangle are respectively, respectively equal to two angles of another triangle means the second triangle another 
triangle then the two triangles are similar the second similarity condition for triangle double a what this means is that you can just draw the figure you have suppose one here 90 and 30 point b c let us say or you can write here anything you like 60 or so then here bigger one 90 point and 60 point b q r so if in two triangles if in triangles a b c and p q r the first point a and p both 90 degrees so one angle equal second angle b equal to angle q both of them 60 degree but the third if there is no information that only two are equal to two then also the triangle will be similar and you start a b c if you write suppose that's up to you first one then second one should follow the first a 90 to 60 points so 90 to 60 points so you should not write p r q we should write p q r triangle p q r by this a a similarity condition okay now next one i think there are four similarity conditions for triangles under this exercise so triple a double a and then the third one is triple s similarity write it down triple s similarity so let us try to understand it in a simple way so that we can clearly we can be so clear about it if in two triangles the sides of one triangle are proportional so this if in two triangles so two given triangles sides of sides of one triangle sides of one triangle are proportional to that is in the same ratio proportional means equal ratio the in the same ratio you can write like this also in the same ratio of proportional to the sides of the other triangle means the second triangle then the two triangles these two given triangles are similar in simple words okay i'm shortening the sentence from the text because this is correct okay so here what this means is this let us take practical situation so we clearly understand it so here we have one triangle let us say roughly a b c and here another triangle let us say p q r what this means is here if in these two triangles if in triangles a b c and p q r let us say okay so here let us say this is uh, two centimeter a b and this one is uh, six centimeter let us say then the second one here bc four centimeter let us say this one okay so here 12 centimeter then here um, six centimeter let us say and then here 18 centimeter just write it on example now what this theorem is saying is this if in these two triangles corresponding sides means first two letters then take the first two letters of the next triangle and find out a b is two and then p q is here six so write it down centimeter cancel two three so ratio is one by three then since there are three sides in these two triangles there will be three ratios this is the first ratio ratio means division of same type a b is side of this triangle and p q is also side of the triangle so side by side means division of same type 
That's the ratio. The second ratio is second and third letter. So that is BC, second and third letter QR. BC is here four. Your QR is here 12. So you cancel it and you're getting again equal one by three. That is the meaning of proportional. Proportional means the first ratio equal to second ratio. That if two ratios are equal, they are called proportional. Let's check the third one, first and third letter. Let's see, first and third letter. PR. So here, six centimeter by here, 18 centimeter. So here, if you do that, then you're going to get here six, three. So this is one by three. First ratio, one by three, second, third, all of the three ratios are equal value one by three. That is the meaning of proportional. If ratios are equal, they are, those ratios are called proportional. Equality of ratio is called proportional. So that is, in other words, the first ratio AB by BC, AB by PQ here, and this triangle is equal to BC by QR equal to SC by PR. There will be only three ratios because there are only three sides. Then the theorem is saying, the triangle, if their corresponding sides like this are equal means proportional, first triangle will be similar to the second triangle by side, 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 three sides proportional ratio, condition of similarity. Okay. The fourth one, the fourth condition is SAS similarity, write it down. First is AAA, double A, then SSS, then SSS. Four conditions are there, I think. With that, we'll use it to solve the sums in the next class, okay? So write down. There. If one angle of a triangle, as a similarity condition is called, if one angle of a triangle is equal to one angle of the other triangle and these sides okay these sides including these angles this is important including what is the meaning of including we'll see including these two angles means these angles are proportional are proportional then the Two triangles are similar. Write it carefully. And now let us do what it, this means. What this means is this. Okay, draw it here. Suppose you have here a triangle. Okay, let's draw it. Triangle is there given to you. Let us say another triangle, slightly bigger maybe ABC, PQR. Let us say these two angles are equal. 30 degree and 30 degree. So let's start. If in triangles ABC and PQR, these two triangles, write it down. One angle each is equal. So angle A, the first letter, is equal to angle P because both are 30. Like this, it's one angle of the triangle equal. That is the meaning. From here to here. And to one angle of the other triangle and the sides including so sides including sides what does this mean so what are the two sides that make this angle 30 because every angle has two arms no a s a b and I see that's right so take the first one a b a b let us say this is on a two centimeter and this is six centimeter then a b then what is the corresponding to a b here pq first two letters which is PQ. How much is that? Two centimeters, let us say by six centimeters. So this is two trees are six, so 
ratio is value 1 by 3, example. Then let us take here 4 centimeter. Let's say this 4. And this is 12 centimeter, let us say. So, including means the sides that make that angle 30 degrees. So, this will be AB and AC. BC is excluded, not included. So, including sides means the two sides of the triangle which make the angle which are equal. That's the meaning. So what are the next ones? AC, this is first and third letter. And here also, first and third letter is PR. So let us try that, 4 cm by 12 cm. And we found out interestingly that this is also equal. So if the ratio of the sides including these two angles, which is AB by PQ and AC by PR are both equal, then surely the triangle, first one will be similar to the second triangle, by SAS, two sides proportional and the angle between them equal, then the triangle will be surely similar. That condition is called SAS similarity. So these are the four conditions we have to put clearly in our mind. Okay, what are the four similarity criteria? Condition AAA, if all the three angles are equal, the triangle is similar. Double A, if only two angles are equal in the two angles of the other triangles, so the two triangles will be similar. SSS. For the three sides are proportional, the sides are equal in ratio, triangle is similar. SAS, if a pair of sides are proportional or two sides are, if one angle in first one and second one are equal and the sides making those angles are equal in ratio or proportional, then the triangle are, the two triangles are similar. So these four conditions have to be kept clearly in our mind before we go to the, do the sums in exercise, okay? So that will be the end for this class. I hope you've got it. Okay. Okay.